Okay, so pin number. Um, the book kind of makes a makes a differentiation between um, dip. So I see. So the book makes a differentiation between the non, so there shouldn't be much differentiation at all. This is the general rule. General rule for in the Okay, pin one marked. And it can be marked with a dot. Um, not Number pin one. Pin one is here. Um, what else? Um, oh, Babel. Okay. Um, all you got to do. So there's one. Pin one is marked. Pin two. Go counter clockwise. So that's pin one. So we're over here. That's pin one. Go counterclockwise. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what you end up with, and then same thing here. So here's pin one right there. Go counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So ideally, you'll end up with pin one and highest pin close together. So look at this. One and eight, they're right next to each other. One and 16, they're next to each other. Okay, you guys get that? So one and eight together, one and 16 together. So that's my rules. Pin one is marked, go counterclockwise. Real simple. Memorize it for two different things. Okay, let's talk about. Oh yeah, complexity. Um, this right here, you don't need to know numbers, but you do need to know that. So, zero to twelve gates is called SSI small. ULSI, ULSI, basic medium, large, what comes after large, very large, and ultra large, what comes after ultra large, I have no idea, um, but basically this is how you break them up, um, 0 to 12 equivalent gates, that's small scale uh, integration, um, 12 to just less than 100, medium, 100 to 10k, that's large scale, just under 10k, 10k to just under 100k, that's very large scale, 100k plus, that's ultra large scale. And when I was a student, I got an internship at um, IBM, and we were actually working on very large scale integration. We thought that was the ultimate, but now we're not Okay, you don't, again, you don't need to know the numbers. Don't worry about these so much. Um, worry about the order of these things. Again, obviously it's pretty easy. Small, medium, large, very large, ultra large. All right? So we are going to, oh no, I have to go over one type of IC technology. Um, two types of IC technology. There are two types of, you're going to go into this a lot. ET221, semiconductor devices and circuits. So if you don't understand it now, um, you'll get a lot of it later. Um, there's two types um, that you can make um, ICs out of, the, the gates out of. It's BJT in an OS effect, MOSFET. This is a bipolar junction, bipolar junction transistor. And 
mixes out metal oxide, silicon, plus metal oxide, silicon, field effect, transistor. Um, you'll learn more about this a lot. The BJT is TTL logic and ECL logic, and middle cup and middle coupled logic. The most common is the TTL, which we rem remember that's our zero to five volt signal. That's a common scheme. Uh, MOSFET, CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductors, and that's what I was working on when I was doing BOSI. And then there's NMOS, N channel MOS. Um, these two guys more commonly used for um, microprocessors and yeah, anything above that line. Large scale, BOSI up. These guys, BJT, large scale, yeah. Okay? But there's two, two different types of technologies BJT, and MOSFETs, okay? So we are gonna go into, remember how I said in this page right here, and fix, oops, excuse me, fix functions, what is it? Uh, there's programmable logic, we haven't discussed that yet, we're gonna discuss that in the next section. This is just fixed function, okay?